Greetings you people and hello my king. I was going and how has it been? This is Mariah Stone and I do indeed welcome you back to some more Fallout New Vegas and we're gonna pick up where we left off which is with Giorgio idiot head and uh, where are we going? Well we are currently heading towards the Helios 1 Facilitar that's on the other side of this here junkyard I do suppose. It looks like there's something on the other side of this junkyard. Large structures and all that now, there was a clarification made to me when it came to whether or not I was going to get a new companion. It is not a companion that I apparently get at the Helios 1 facility. Which makes me almost not want to go. However, I am still intrigued because I was told that I have a kindred spirit there. Now that... What do you mean by a kindred spirit, chat? Like, what do you mean? There was a comment down in the... Comment section down below one of the last videos, and it told me that uh, there's somebody with the same sort of disposition. Is that what I'm getting as myself? And if that is the case, then I should go and, I don't know, make proper friends and all that. Maybe there's another mechanic? Also, if there's another mechanic specifically, does that mean that I can uh, perhaps learn some specific cool recipes? For crafting things. Is that even a thing? I have no idea. But we're gonna check this out anyway. This is not exactly a very friendly welcome party, you know, with the uh, sand. This is a restricted area. State your business. Right. Um, I'm taking over. Yeah, that sounds like a really good idea. Feed food. Need food. I can't tell whether you're joking or radiation melted part of your brain. But either way, I don't see a good reason to let you through. Um... Right. Well, let's see. Uh, shouldn't there be more people than this defending the power plant? I'd like to go into the power plant. Why are you here and not on the front lines? Isn't that more important? I'd like plant. Go in. Why would I want to let you do that? Uh, I heard my brother was stationed here. <laughs> this is not going to work in the least, but it seems like something I should... I should be saying this. Sorry, no civilians inside. I can't start making exceptions now. Best you can do is talk to someone at the station where your brother enlisted. Right. She didn't buy the lie anyway, but uh, she went a she went along with it. Uh, why are you here and not in the front lines? Isn't that more important? Shouldn't there be more people in defending this? You know what? Um. Hmm. Shouldn't there be more people here? Power plant. There should, but we're not getting much power out of it, so none of our enemies have big interest in it either. Not like Hoover Dam, anyway. We had a real fighting force here just long enough to take it from the Brotherhood of Steel. Then they got sent east to the dam like everybody else. Damn. Caesar's Legion sends skirmishers every so often, prodding for weaknesses mostly. The reality is, if they really wanted it, we'd all be dead. If they really wanted it, you'd all be dead. That's a very optimistic way of looking at it. Although, as I mentioned earlier about optimism, sometimes realism is a bit more pointed and correct to have because, well, at least you prepare for the worst. Mm. Why was the Brotherhood of Steel here? Why are you here and not on the front lines? I'm going to say, why was the Brotherhood of Steel here? Damned if I know. Put up a hell of a fight, though. We had them outnumbered, I don't know, 20 to 1, maybe? They held out as long as they could, lost most of their force before they retreated. Gave us a little parting gift, too. They had some of the plant running, but they shut it all down. Enabled an old security system, too, to keep us away from the controls. <laughs> Jerk-offs. There's something I want to mention, too, while I'm thinking about it. Just before, just prior to making this particular recording, um, I, I have a, a stream tip um, program running in the background pretty much all the time, and there was a loud foos roll down, which is the sound that my computer makes whenever somebody donates to me a, a large amount. And that large amount came in, just prior to this recording, and it scared the shit out of me, I'm not gonna lie, it scared me to death, and it was by King Mago, Mago, King Mago sent me a tremendous donation, and I just wanted to say thank you, I just cut out the corner of my eye there, and just remembered that that was the case, very much appreciated, sir or madam, I'm thinking sir, king, probably sir, anyway, why are you here and not on the front lines, isn't that more important, I am going to say yay, is, uh, here instead of front lines why important i ask myself the same question all the time but energy is hard to come by around here gives you more control over this area than troops ever could mm -hmm. hell if we lose the dam to the legion this little plant may be our last stand 
All right. Well, I guess I have to say goodbye then. There's nothing really of. How do I get in, guys? How does one get in? I mean, if. Okay. Okay. Listen. 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 I. 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 Okay. Look. I got off to the wrong foot. Wrong foot. I'm and I'm dead. I am so dead right now. All right. All right. I. I didn't mean it. Um. Okay. Right. Listen. Me and you need to have a chat. I'm gonna die here. I have to bring out my weapon after running straight to point blank range. I am going to stim pack it. And stim pack it. Okay. Right. I think I have made a grave error. I will take the bullets, I suppose. Currency. Oh, what is this then? Wait, 26. It's medium armor, not heavy armor, and it's almost as good as my heavier armor. And I'm going to take it anyway, at least in the same fact that maybe I'll be able to uh, upgrade my equipment, or at least repair my equipment with it. Trooper helmet, I'll take that too. Uh, dog tag, may as well, and a service rifle. Sure. Uh, I'll take the knife too, I suppose. Why not? I'm over encumbered. Well, that's helpful. Let's go into my apparel and see what I can do. I have lightweight metal armor, which is medium armor. It's actually lighter than... You know what? Let's repair it then. There we go. No problem. And what am I wearing? I'm at the iBot helmet right now, which is awesome. Which I can repair a little bit with the NCR trooper helmet. Now it's all back in proper working order. Guys, um, what are the odds that I can now go into the NCR Helios 1 base and, and, and not get utterly destroyed? I'm wondering. Face wrap armor. What? That's awesome. It looks awesome. I don't need it, though. It's going to be too heavy for me to carry. Alright, so... I, I, I take it right now that, um... That Giorgio Ediedhead. head being a little stunted in terms of the brain and its functions just got assaulted out of nowhere and he just did the whole hawk thing while you attack him he turns around and attacks you back I don't think I'm a bad guy I don't think Giorgio ED Edhead is is a bad guy specifically I, I think what this is is he's, he's just survival he's in survival mode that was a nice weapon. I'm also overburdened. Uh, bandolier, homer, and a beret. You know what? I'm taking it. And I'm going to do some repairs, I suppose. That was a doggy, too. I had to kill a doggy. Damn it! Man! Um, is there anything that else that I can... Mm, that I can repair? The lightweight metal armor. I can still start doing some more repairs with that. Let's do it with that one, then. I'm down to 311 over 300. I need to fix up some of the things. Let's, let's fix up, perhaps, this leather armor with stuff. What can I fix you up with? Casual wear. Sure. And a, ra a radiation suit. No. In fact, I need to repair that radiation suit. So let's 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 back out of this. Where's that radiation suit? Let's let's make that look better. Where is it? Oh, it's there. Um so let's put the sheriff's duster into it. I think so. We're we're no longer the sheriff anymore. We put the sheriff into prim, and we are no longer the sheriff of prim. Radiation suit, which is back to complete working order. It's back to maximum. Nicely done, then. What about the uh, space suit, space helmets? That's already good to go. There's a radiation suit. Does that already include the helmets, I guess? What? Micro's goggles? I can upgrade these with my beret and the storm chaser hat. What is. What good is that? Except it looks good. It looks awesome. I don't know if I want to get rid of it. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna mm, I'm gonna get rid of the biker's goggles. I'm gonna put that into my storm chaser hat. At least let's look at it right quick. What's, what, is it, what does it look like? Put it on, and it looks like. Okay, you know we we don't need this. We don't need that. No, no, no. We'll, we'll put that into the goggles. We'll put that into the goggles. 
Let's see. Where are the iBot helmet? And I'm going to put the goggles and repair that with the Storm Chaser hat. There we go. I don't want to get rid of the spacesuit helmet, and I do not want to get rid of the pre-war bonnet because the pre-war bonnet is amazing. Absolutely awesome. What about weapons? Do I have anything else that I need to do with weapons? I just picked up a bunch of uh, weapons that I could probably turn in. Yes! So let's repair that with that. Shotgun with shotgun. Excellent. Now I'm really dropping some weight. Frag grenade. Frag mine. Dynamite. Tons of it. Right. Bladed gauntlet. Shetty. Gonna repair this with. That, in fact. I have a magnum revolver that is in really good shape. Now here's the um, deciding factor as to whether or not I go inside of here. Um, would Giorgio Bonet, or sorry, Giorgio currently E.D. Edhead, would they go into a place that is rife with conflict? I mean, I just walked towards the door and started getting shot at. That doesn't bode well. Would my survival instinct say, you know what, we're not going in there. We're just not. Hmm. I'm going to think on that while I continue to repair some things. Bumper sword, is there anything I can repair that with? There's nothing currently. I can, re not the cleaver because it's already perfect. Although I can repair this knife with a knife and a knife. That's cool. Backing up. And there was a service rifle that I can repair with the next service rifle that I just picked up. Nicely done. Wait, I'm still heavy. Oh, because I picked up their armor, did I? I think I did. Ball cap with glasses. Anything I can do with that, then? Leather armor. No, 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 nothing. NCR trooper armor and the helmet. I can still... There we go. Now my current armor is back to full functionality. I am at maximum condition. The idiot head, I think, is already completely fine as well. I don't think there's anything I can do with it. Yeah, I know. There's nothing I can do to repair that. It's, it's in perfect working condition. Space suit, space helmet. Hmm. You know, here's the interesting thing about the space suit, though. It gives me rad resist plus 40. The radiation suit only gives me that. You know what? We are going to get rid of the radiation suit, which, you know, it doesn't even give me the same damage resistance either. So we're going to put the radiation suit into the spacesuit, I think. That sounds proper. Just like that. That dropped me some more weight. Spacesuit. Spacesuit helmet, which also adds more damage resist. What can I put into you? The trooper helmet. Done. Excellent. Now. Huh. Well, here's the thing. Being a very smart individual... Giorgio E.D. Edhead would not go in through this door. Obviously, this door is a very bad door. So he's going to go in through this door. I saw it earlier when I came around the corner. So we're going to go through this door. Locked. Very easy. Well, I know what we have to do. <laughs> we are going to have to fight our way inside, aren't we? Um, actually, can I just throw a fra frag grenade? I suppose I could. But I like the idea of dynamite better, because dynamite is a hell of a lot more fun. Long fuse dynamite. Let's just find the actual dynamite. There's the dynamite that I want. And I am going to put that on what slot? Four slot. There it is. So now it is part of my inventory. Should be able just to select it. Or can I not select it? There it is. That's what I want. And we're going to throw it right at that door. Woo! Hey, wait. I don't know if it's going to be close enough. I don't think it was. Nope. Right. Let's try this again. And throw. Awesome. I feel so good right now. Door open. Uh, open this up. What do we got going on inside? Giorgio. E.D. Edhead has now stepped into the insides of this here facilital, and he's looking for friends. How many friends will he find? I don't know. What's this then? That's a th it's like a blow dryer or a hand dryer. Carton of cigarettes. Don't want that. 
Doesn't seem like anything you would want to bring along. Smoking is bad for you. Okay. Open this up. Anything else? I'm just kicking cans around and boards. What's in the box? Nothing. Open the door. I can barely see. Open fire hose box. Fire hose nozzle. I'll take that. In any case that I need to... Um... Repel down... The outside of this building. When it catches fire for some anonymous reason. See, this guy isn't going to attack me. That's awesome. We're supposed to be relieved any day. That's what they keep telling us. I don't think anyone's coming. Oh. Cool. Oh, then... It's glad to see you and everything. These guys are friendly. They're friendly. Oh, by the way, um, out front there, you have some really bad people. Really bad people out front. You might want to go check that. Where am I going, anyway? And why am I going there? I don't know. Turn on my little lampy bit. My little pit boy lampy bit. What's that? Uh, that's, um, that's beer. Mmm. Delicious beer. There's a place to sleep up here. And a book! A burned book! Open foot locker. It's empty. So I don't need to look- Wow, look at the... Architecture! Architecture! Look at the ar- Sorry. Um, let's go this way. So far, I have found nobody who seems to be of like mind with me. Also, I would like to point out that I'm feeling a little bit weird about the whole situation. I'm starting to think that uh, everybody who mentioned Helios 1 in the comments section down in the last few videos was trolling me, knowing that I would only get myself in trouble if I approached. NCR Trooper, talk to me. I'm not sure you should be here. Okay. Talk to the doggy? Can I go through this door? You're not sure I should be here, but you're just gonna stand there. Dazed and confused more than I am. Alright then. That's fine. Okay. Hello then. Talk to me. This chain link fence perimeter is worthless. We might as well be defending a cage from the inside. Right. Oh, that goes back outside. Oh! I wonder if that's the door to the outside. Um, did you hear any gunfire and stuff outside? Maybe you should go look. It's quieted down now. You think they won? Maybe they won. Maybe they didn't. Talk to me. You lost? Mm, yeah. Pretty much. What's this terminal about? Take a look. I want to read things. Archimedes testing. On Tuesday, February 16th at 2 p.m., technicians will be turning, or turning, running a test of Archimedes and its connectivity with our planet security system. Under no circumstances should any employee be outdoors on the plant grounds until the alarm klaxon has ceased and all clear is given. We have death and dismemberment waivers from all employee, employees on file and are not responsible for any accidents that should occur during this procedure. Hmm. Protective eyewear is mandatory for all technicians observing from the lower deck. Alright, so results, upcoming visits. What were the results then? Something to scribble. I heard a scribble. Is that like a, um, did I just get a quest? Is that what I got? The initial testing of Archimedes was success. I can't speak today, evidently, this morning. Maybe I should wake up and then record. <clears throat> was a success, though not an unqualified one. Several minor systems were overloaded despite all precautions taken, and the two and a half minutes of downtime following the test is something we can work on improving. More importantly, we received reports from nearby facilities that they experienced system frying power fluctuations at the time of the test. Notably, the Black Mountain Communications Array and the military bunkers at Hidden Valley were going to make it a priority next time to prevent such collateral damage. Interesting. Coming visit. Mmm. A, a bridge general. Scott Lowe of the U.S. Army will be visiting the facility starting next Monday and staying on site indefinitely. When Archimedes goes by, live, <clears throat> he will be the only person here allowed to authorize its use for anything other than a test. Civilian employees are not required to salute. But it is expected of everyone that you observe through thorough grooming and hygiene regimens and dress neatly while the general is with us. 
The general expects the best from all his men, and Poseidon men should be no different in the presence of such a fine and decorated soldier. Right. Can I tell him? A Poseidon Energy publication for new employees. As a member of the Poseidon family, it will be natural for you to become enthusiastic about the incredible endeavors you'll be undertaking with us, and to want to tell others. What? Just a second there, my good man. Let's take a minute to consider what could happen if company information fell into the wrong hands, and whose hands those might be. Can I tell my wife? Well, let's say you do. You tell her not to tell anyone. Your bond is sacred, but a woman's idle tongue is a devil's plaything. <laughs> no, no sooner do you leave for work the next day than she's on the phone telling her best friend Candy. Then Candy tells Gertie, and Gertie tells Maxine, and Maxine tells Lulu. And while Lulu is telling Doris, a Chinese agent posing as an American operator listens in, and the next thing she's on the line with a forbidden city, singing like a treasonous canary. The following day, you and your wife are bound in shackles, and China is sitting at the controls of our entire arsenal. Can I tell my children? What father wouldn't want his kids to look up to him? Don't be that father. One day at school, Ivan Bulikov will get more than lunch money out of your kids. He'll have national secrets. And while they're parading him through Red Square as a national hero, your children will be working in forced labor camps right next to you. And your beautiful young wife, who is now wrinkled and homely since the communists have banned makeup because it expresses individuality. Can I tell my drinking buddies? Surely, if there's somewhere safe, a man can place his trust. It is with his other male friends. But how much do you really know about them? Are they friends or comrades? Don't be too sure. Even the most transparent window can hide secrets when it's lined with iron curtains. Always remember, you are a member of two families now, and you have obligations to both. But your obligation to Poseidon family is greater, because while your children may misbehave, and your friends may change, and your wife may nag and cheat on you, Poseidon energy will always be paying for and protecting your way of life. Don't tell anybody about anything about the projects of Poseidon Energy. When pressed, tell them that your job is repetitive and not worth discussing. But the company is nurturing and gives good benefits and is always looking for new talent. My brain cells have just shrunk into oblivion. Alright, what's inside this door? Oh, hi there. That scientist we hired has got to be the dumbest asshole I've ever come across. Scientist. Dumbest asshole. Is this my kindred spirit? <laughs> Probably is. You can break through our defenses. I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. Another realist. Awesome. Open the sack. What's inside? Hey, step back. Fancy lad snacks. Stale rads. Go up. No, I don't want that. Anyway, let's move about the country. This is the door I came in. So, I've just gone in a big ass circle. Okay, so now what? Do I go upstairs? That's an apple. Oh, it's a fresh apple. Oh, I'm gonna eat that right now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Give me the apple. Where is it? Where is the apple? A fresh apple. Mmm. So good. Awesome. Now, continuing upstairs. Chalkboard. Continuing across the... Very, very, very dangerous chasm. Oh, Captain Cosmos. I remember that book. I'm also lying. Bottle cap, I'll take it. Eastern Reflector Control Terminal Password. What? I suppose I'll take that. Scrap electronics, I'll take that too. Just in case I find another Edie. Eddie. Edie Edhead. Eastern Reflector Control Terminal Pa- They sound very important. Open the sack. Radex. Cool. Alright. Empty desk. What's on the computer? Archimedes testing. Okay, not tell him. Okay, that's all the same stuff. We don't have to worry about what's that then? New council gatherings. New council gatherings, it says. A basketball? Mmm, I'd love to play some basketball. So I just went all the way up here to the second floor for no damn reason. The second floor holds no secrets for me. Where does one go from here? Hello, then. I've talked to you before, I'm pretty sure. New council gatherings again. I don't know where to go from here. I feel like I've gone to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where does this go? Hey! There we go. New places. 
Is that eyeglasses? I'll take them eyeglasses. You never know when I might need some uh, finer detail on some uh, repair work. And the glasses will help with the finer details. Or at least seeing the finer details. Oh, hello then. New person. Hello. Talk to me. Who the hell are you? They bring you in to replace me? They're replacing me, aren't they? I think I met this person before, like a long time ago when I was playing Fallout New Vegas uh, as a roguelike adventure. Because I remember quite easily the name Fantastic. I don't remember what this was about, but is this the person? Is this the person? Is Mr. Fantastic here? My kindred spirit? Alright, settle down. I'm not here to replace anyone. Me, take your job because I'm smarter. Oh, because calls me smarter. That sounds like the proper way to say things. Anyway, why are you worried about being replaced? Me take your job calls me smarter. Settle down. I'm not here to replace anyone. I'm gonna say... Settle down. Replace anyone. I'm not here to. Damn right you're not. No. Nope. God damn right. Why would they? You can't top this guy. Just a little more time. You can't keep Fantastic down for long. Right, um... Why are you worried about replaced? Worried? Do I look worried to you? I've got this under control, baby. No one else can do what I do here. Um, what job? What else? I'm in charge. This whole operation depends on me. No fantastic, no power. Got the whole NCR suckling my teats. And it feels so good. What you do? Fuck, man. Everything. I push buttons, I turn dials, I read numbers. Sometimes I make up little stories in my head about what the numbers mean. Like one time I imagined they were a code to get into a vault full of naked women. Man, how cool would that be? I, I, I don't know. Um, so you have no idea what you're doing? No, man. I know exactly what I'm doing. I just don't know what effect it's going to have. Over there, controls power in this building. That station has readouts on the computer network. That big knob there makes a crazy noise. Uh, sparks come out of that slot if you put stuff in it. And I'm learning more every day. What try to accomplish? Well, see, we're getting power because the guy running this place is fantastic. But the mirrors outside aren't aimed right. So we're running at 1% efficiency, and I guess that just isn't good enough for some assholes. Trouble is, most of the controls for this place aren't here. They're in the tower, and that place has some crazy pre-war security system that the dumb shit NCR set off when they took over. Killed two guys. Now they won't go near it. They want me to make an omelet, but I can't break any of their eggs. Know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. How I move shinies. There's these two terminals outside. They control the mirrors. I tried fooling with them, but didn't get very far. You'd have to get them to talk to the mainframe up in the tower, then do the rest from up there. I'm guessing, but it sounds good, right? Hey, you're not thinking about going up there, are you? Oh, I am now. Well, hey, if you find yourself up at the mainframe, do yourself a favor and make sure you send the power to the right place. It needs to go to the Strip and McCarran. Uh, why power go strip McCarran? Because I get paid, that's why. Per kilowatt hour. Whatever the hell that is. That's where the NCR wants the power, so that's where I want it. But you know, you do that, maybe I put in a good word for you with them. Fantastic's little helper. There's a reputation you can hang your hat on. Right. Because that's all it'll carry. What did you get this job? It was easy, man. They were going door to door asking if anyone knew any scientists. I said, look no further. They asked me if I knew anything about power plants. I said as much as anyone I had ever met. They asked me how well I understood theoretical physics. I said I had a theoretical degree in physics. They said, welcome aboard. So who's dumber here, the NCR or this guy? I'm thinking the NCR is much dumber. Here, you want this. It's the password to one of the terminals outside. Found it written on one of the stalls in the bathroom. A 
terminal password. I've got those. I Well, I have those. Do I have excess now, or do I have multiple ones because I need multiple ones? That is the question. Right, um, what's in the fridge? Yeah, <laughs> you are a man after my own heart in real life, I think, when you have, like, a fridge full of booze. However, you know, imagining Amen. opening up a vault full of nudie mags is not exactly fascinating. Um, fresh apple. I think I'll have another one. Aid. And that. Ooh. So delicious. Okay. Now then. Wait. There's a new guy. Talk to me. It's unusual to see a new face here. Are you a soldier or a scientist? Me shoulder. I is scientist. Me pet animal. Aminals. You know ask. <laughs> Me pet aminals? Um. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to this. Okay, how would I? Me shoulder. Me shoulder, that's what I am. I, I've done lots of killing for help. Well, that explains it. NCR, who do you fight for? Uh, maybe you tell me who you with so we be friends. <laughs> I would, but I wouldn't want to influence your answer. I with me! Then for everyone's sake, I hope you serve a worthy master. Are you a maker of war or peace? Ooh. Pizza. Warm. Huh? Huh? Ah, but there's no avoiding it. You can only outrun the choice for so long. Take now, for instance. You're inside a facility with lost technology, some of it very dangerous. Unless you turn and leave right now, you'll be very much involved in the lives of people you've never seen or met. Uh, me helps shoulders make shinies warm. Yes, that basically is why I'm here. Then I would say do it. As long as the power of this plan is committed to the regional grid and not to a weapon, we are safe. If you're the one to restore output, then you can route the power where you choose, and they'll never be the wiser. I can't get you past the security in the tower, but I can be of some help. I've discovered a password for one of the mirror control terminals outside. You'll need it. Where me send shiny juice? Oh, the NCR has their own designs for it, no doubt, but resist the urge to send it only to the thriving communities. The need for power is great everywhere. Distributing it evenly is the most rational and humane choice. Okay. So this place not just shiny juice maker? I don't entirely know. Our records on the company that built this place suggest that their dealings were not only in energy, but also in weapons. And I've seen equipment here marked with symbols used by the pre-war military. Targeting computers, shock sensors. A code word comes up repeatedly in the papers I've looked through here. Archimedes. Hmm. Who are flowers of apocalypse? Humanity lost many things after the war. Methods of agriculture, techniques for survival. We took it upon ourselves to piece together this knowledge and bring it back to them. Uh-huh, makes sense. Say more words. Other things weren't lost, but were blocked from our collective memory. Knowledge of what we're capable of and how things spiral out of control. It's in our nature to want to forget truths that keep us awake at night. And for that reason, it's all the more important that the followers walk the ways to remind people of them. Mm. Do flowers and NCR bear play together? We did for a time, but our goals differ. The NCR only cares to expand their wealth and their reach. For us, territory boundaries mean nothing, and prosperity has to be for everyone not just citizens of the NCR. So parting was inevitable. While the NCR pushes east, we clean up the mess they leave behind. We'll try to provide some stability. Hmm. So you help me. I'm a man of letters. I'd be torn to pieces by the security system they have in that tower. I'd never reach the mainframe. But eventually, the NCR will. Or if not them, Caesar's Legion. They will use this place for war. Because the possibility exists, you might do anything else. You're the only choice I have. Interesting. So, this guy is hoping that instead of routing power to a weapon, I'm going to route power to the region. 
to help out, I guess, local people. Right. Goodbye. Goodbye. So this guy is effectively a mole inside of the NCR facilities. Very interesting. Open door to Mojave Wasteland, really. This, this door goes right outside. Well then, I'm going to call an end to this particular video, and in the next video, we're going to head outside into the Mojave, I guess the second level, third level of this tower, or under, under, where am I exactly? No idea. Well anyway, whatever is on the other side of this door, we're going to find out in the next video. If there's anything about this video that you did indeed enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content such as this, and I will see you again later. Have a good day, have a good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Barar Stone and Giorgio Idiothead. Signing out.